Hello everyone, the Pokemon Fan 993 here, back with more Pokemon Unite. It has been a quite a long time since I've done a Unite video, and there has been a lot of stuff that's been happening. So you're going to see that Elefion is available in five days. That is for people who want to use the gems, which are in-game in currency. So I will be getting Leafeon, I believe, once it's released. I was going to get Umbreon, that was released earlier this this um, fuck, this uh, month, but I decided against it because, it, to me, like... If you get, like, Umbreon is good, but it's not, like, good. Like, for example, uh, if you're one-on-one -on -one with Umbreon and you're the same level, there's a fair chance, even if you suck at doing it, you're going to win if you're ranged, which isn't that impressive to me. It, it means that Umbreon can be defeated even though he's a defender. Leafin will be a speedster, and I'm going to let you guys know that right now my analog sticks are screwed up on my controller, or on my uh, Joy-Con, so I have to get those replaced. So this is going to be, there might be a bit of fighting with my controller, but usually it doesn't affect at least me playing Unite. So... Um, what I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to be doing four matches. They're all going to be the, the small matches. I'm going to be doing uh, two of the Ketchum and two of the Eevee Appeal Rama, which basically means how this works is you start with you start with one of the four evolutions. Get a really quick matchup here. And um, what you do is you it's, it's just like Saber City. You score, you, you battle Pokemon, everything. Except there is an appeal system. When you're not going to post a Pokemon or you score, you have an appeal meter. If you click on it, your appeal goes up. There are different levels of appeal. And when... Um, I always choose Glaceon. And when that hits Matt, the, the higher your thing is, the quicker you can score goals. Up to the point where you can score instantly. There's also... It's also all Eevee themed. There's, in the middle, there is one uh, G, v -Max, G Max Eevee that shows up, which, which is Gigamax. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing... Using Glaceon for both the Eevee Aramas, and I'm going to be switching between two Mons. I'm pretty sure I have not shown off yet on my channel, which is most likely going to be Gudra and, um, sure, the other one. I'll figure out what the other one is in a minute. There's one other one. I think it might have been Chandel Chand Chandelure. Um, I tried Chandelure, and Chandelure's okay, but, um, how do I put this? Way, way too frail. Um... I was looking like online guys to see what they they recommend just to see what they were saying and to put on him and they said not to include the focus band which gives you a defense boost of like 30 to 32 on each stat which i thought was essential for this let me turn the line on just a little bit so just keep an eye up on the upper left you're gonna see it says mission pending so once 30 seconds are up we're gonna start getting missions and then we use those and we complete those before our um my view map is screwed up before um my, our opponent will get an appeal level boost, and it'll tell you what the bonus does once we complete it. So if you've seen me play Glaceon before, what, I want, what I'm going to aim for here is the Icicle Spear and the Ice Shard combination. So there'll be an Electro that falls up here. Sometimes we have a fight over it. Did 9,000 damage to Pokemon. I got screwed. I was paying attention to them. Yeah, they're going to win that one. Still haven't gotten Icicle Spear yet. This is not looking good. This, this Mac can be decided relatively early who's going to win. And I think they just won this because they already have Eviion and Umbreon. And they're scoring already. So, that's a problem. I don't get my perfect setup until level 6. So, that's going to be an issue as well. It's just getting that much of a level. I'm grabbing that. Yeah, I'm dead. I think this is a lost cause, to be honest with you. I haven't even gotten my Ice Ghost here yet, and we're already getting dominated. Or my Ice Shard. There, I got it now. But this guy's gonna go AFK. No, I'm surprisingly not. The opposing team can score instantly, so I think we already lost this one. I'm gonna, I am gonna. think I'm gonna have to call for a surrender. We're not getting anywhere so far. Like, I can try my best, but I just, you know... First of all, they're working together. Um, they might be teaming. I don't know what they're doing. Teaming is perfectly allowed in Unite. It's just that they might be having microphones. They might be talking to each other. I've done that before with my friend Josh. It's my older Unite videos we used to play all the time. So, yeah. I'm going to do what I can, but I think at 2.30 I'm going to try for a surrender and see what they, see what my teammates say. I mean, well, that was the first one to score a goal on our side. I don't even know. So you can see there's a there's an orange and there's a pink meter sometimes. That means that we're... They, the opposing team is orange and we're pink. Meaning that they won that last appeal thing. Yeah, we're just we're just walking in into our into our score and uh, basically doing that. 
Honestly, I understand, like, I understand how League of Legends works to an extent, but I still don't think there should be a way to camp in your opposing team's goal. Like, it just doesn't seem like something you should be able to do. Yes, yeah, someone's already called from the field. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say yes. But that one was really bad. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I tried what I could. I think I was probably MVP on our side, but it was just, it was terrible right off the bat. But you basically get how it works. Usually I do a lot better than that, because Blaze Tenure is, to me, is one of the most overpowered evolutions in this game so far. Even compared to Umbreon and some of the other ones. So yeah, I was MVP because I'm the only one who really scored anything. So we're going to hit back to main menu. We're going to go for a regular 5v5. Now, I'm going to let you guys know, as of a while ago, I only do 5v5s now, unless I'm playing with someone I know, because... 4v4 and 3v3s are alright, but you get one extra person on each side or two extra person on each side and it just becomes a complete disaster. So this time we're going to do catch them. So for those who aren't aware how catch them works, essentially what happens is, in addition to all the extra stuff that goes on in this map... So where are we going to choose here? We'll start... We'll choose Gudra. I haven't... I have not... I don't think I've uh, used Gudra here yet for this. Yeah. So we're going to choose Gudra. Um... You also have Pokemon that you could bite, you could fight, and if you beat them, you can capture them and use them temporarily as a second character. They're usually decent, and the only thing that really sucks is um, you can't score, goal score while you're being that Pokemon, and you have to revert back. And if you choose to revert back to a Pokemon, you can't use that Pokemon again until you capture another one. There's a couple Pokemon that I know that are in this. Like, there's Ludicolo, Regigigas, Avalog, Tauros... Arachno Arachnoid, that's how you even pronounce that one. So we're going to have a look at our setup here, because I think... Let's see. Okay, so we have an attacker, and all... An, is that, is our an attacker? I don't know. Defender, a speedster, they got a support, a range attacker, another support, and another range attacker. I think in terms of... As long as everyone does their job correctly, I think we got this one. But I always can't count on the possibility of my team being idiots or they being better than... They're just being more intelligent than us. I will tell you that Sableye is something that I don't think I've shown on my channel before. Sableye is basically just a stronger version of Hoopa. It is very annoying to fight. And a lot of times, I don't even end up fighting it. Like, I think over the course of how long it's been out, I think I maybe fought it maybe three or four times. And when I say fought, I've used that term loosely because usually I just knock it out. Alright, here we go. Match number two. So Gudra start, or Gumi starts off with Bubble and Tackle. Bubble will let you perform a shield around you, and if you use it again, it'll pop and it'll deal damage to enemies around you. Tackle is basically you just lunge forward toward whatever direction you want to go to, and does damage. Nothing really special about that. Nagumi is a dragon type, meaning it takes a while to level up, and I forgot about this. So we're actually going to go over here, and we're going to deal with the Arachnid here. Because he's one of the Pokemon that can be captured. Plus, once I get him, I should be able to level up to the point where I can learn my next move. Well, I thought so anyway. Oh, there we go. So we're going to choose Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse shoots a beam in one direction, damaging all enemies it touches, which is good. Show you off right now. A lot of times I end up using it just to take out one Pokemon, but it also restores a bit of HP for every damage it gets. So if you get into a fight... Let's switch over. So Hydro Pump is pushes players back and lunge... Um, basically just lunges toward the enemy. My goal here actually isn't to beat them. I'm actually trying to get enough levels to level up. So he's got Comfy on him, which is a slight pain. Okay, I got my I got my combo. So Acid Spray goes toward the enemy and lowers their special defense. Dragon Pulse deals damage to the enemy. So we just scored 30 points there. Nice. So, Hokumpi's whole thing, and I'm not really crazy about it, is he can attach to an opposing Pokemon and cause damage over time. And heal them. Which, honestly, is just... It's so busted, it's actually kind of stupid. And once Kofi... By the way, I think this is the stupidest thing ever. Once the Pokemon Kofi do attach dies, Kofi gets re unattached from it. I think if you're not smart enough to get Kofi off the Pokemon before it dies, I think Kofi should be fainted, too. I don't think it should give out any points, but I think it shouldn't be fainted. Alright, so we got Zapdos. We're going to go get him real quick. 
So Zebdo's and Articuno have one move each that allows you to get free goal zones and your opponent's score has to get like six or seven seconds, which obviously is very crucial in a match like this. And plus, Zapdos is very powerful, so there's that. Okay, so I got Zapdos. So I'm debating on what I want to do here because normally I stay down here and defend this goal zone instead of going up there, and I think that's actually what I'm going to do. I probably should go up there, though, and use Zapdos to uh, free up the goal zone at the very least. You can see in it down there, you can see how much longer Zepdos has to go till it faints, or disappears by itself. So we're going to come here. I'm going to hit, say, gather here. I'm going to go thunder. Oh, I thought that's how it worked. No, but Zap Cannon. So we're going to swap back, and we're going to score our free, free goal zones. Which is enough to knock theirs out. So I'm going to head back to the bottom path now. I'm going to let everyone know I'm doing that. And I'm going to defend the bottom path probably until the end of the game. We have 28 seconds before... Um, Regigigas showed up. Shows up. He's strong, but he's not very fast. Oh, we still on here with Comfy, huh? See, the only thing problem with this combination of them is that they're both Gengar's frail. I mean, if Gengar dies, Comfy is essentially screwed. Sorry, yes, the spray goes over that stuff. All right, we're going to gather in the center area. I'm going to tell everyone to gather. So we need to make sure we cinch this. I think we got this one, considering that they have no, uh, no uh, goal zones we left to destroy. But we always can't count that out. Also, if you're doing damage to a boss, he is just unbelievably slow. Food just unbelievably slow. See, that Kombi spent way too much time attached to the Pokemon. He's only level 11. And everyone else is basically level 15 at this point. All right, cool. Who got it? I did not get it. But I'm going to head back to the bottom path and get um, Zapdos, I think. Oh, no, I probably should go with him so he can get the free goal zone uh, increase. If he uses the Mega whatever here, he can immediately do it. Yep, he got it. So we're going to score another 100 there. This is the worst position to be caught in, by the way, is letting people inside your goal zone while they can free score. So... Alright, cool. Not too bad so far. Espeon could be a bit of a problem. But nothing really cra crazy so far. Have I even have I even died once? I think I died once so far. All right, cool. So we're gonna score. That doesn't look like he's gonna make another goal zone. But yep. So we won. There is no way they're coming back from that. They would have to score so many points right now. It wouldn't even be funny. Oh yeah, Gooder, when the little silver piled up next to its name, you actually can get HP back by walking in grass. And I never used the Gooder's Unite move, but it basically does the same thing as it deals damage to the enemy and heals you for even more than you normally would heal yourself for. We lost, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, we won by over almost 500 points. Just to give you guys a general example of how much Gooder can heal itself, I'm going to go with my battle data real quick. I healed 12,129 damage. That's more damage. Or that's more healing. Almost as much healing as uh, the Comfy user on our, the opposing team was doing in terms of damage. Alright, so we're going to go back to the main menu. We're going to try Eevee Rama again. They're going to collect all our rewards for the day. I will say I'm very impressed with the Switch on this because um, a Switch doesn't seem like a powered enough hardware to run something like like a like a League of Legends Pokemon thing. You know what I mean? It seems like it shouldn't be able to handle that. But I imagine maybe it was more than five on five. Maybe it couldn't handle it. Maybe that's why they made it a five on five minimum or maximum. So let me just grab my drink. So, we're still going to use Glaceon. Okay. I have not tried Umbreon. Don't know what he's like. But I've tried, I've tried Espeon. Espeon is alright, but it seems like her attacks are too... How do I put this? Slow. And I tried Sleeveon too, but the one thing, you, the move you need called Draining Kiss has a cone that goes one direction. The cone does not change. For example, if you put it, if you put it north... While you're using it, you can only be put north. You can't move it any other way. Meaning that if, if you're not 
if you're trying to get your HP back and you do that and you're not getting, and you're, they're not in the cone, you're not getting any HP back. And that's, to me, that's not versatile enough for me to, to use. Like I dare say, if we're talking a special, a better range attacker than Sleeveon, I would, I would definitely say, um, what's his name? It's not Cinderance. Cinderance is pretty terrible. Um, what's the other one? I would dare say in terms of dealing damage, Maybe that's what Sleeveon is made for, is basically, is, is Chandelure. Okay, so it's Umbreon, Glaceon, Sleeveon, and Glaceon versus Glaceon, Umbreon, Glaceon, and Sleeveon. So actually, we're pretty even here. The only thing that might differ our thing is how our tactics work. Ready? Go! Do, 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 do. Oh, yes, I'm going to say this now, and I don't feel any remorse doing it. If you, at the start, you're AFK for 10 seconds, I'm reporting you for being AFK if I remember to do it. Because in this game, you can't waste a single damn second. Like, I don't understand. Like, I understand it's some kind of strategy sometimes, but I don't see the point of doing the one thing that everybody does, and that's sitting in the grass waiting for someone to happen. You could be leveling up doing that. Like, why would you even try that? I don't know if we're going to have time to knock him out or not. Yeah, we did. Cool, I got my ass sickle spear. Step one done. So my next address is at level 6, so I can, um, I can get Ice Shard. And I, for people who have never seen me play play with Glaceon, I'll explain how, I kind of explain, I didn't get a chance to last time, I'll, I'll explain how the Icicle Spear and Ice Shard combo works. Use my potion there, because it doesn't look very good. Team Scorch goes low increased. Okay, so how this works. Use Icicle Spear, it does damage to Pokemon. A lot of them. And outside the range. If you go outside the range, the Pokemon you still be able to hit him no matter what the range. Ice Shard immediately... Or, Icicle Spear immediately refreshes Ice Shard. Which is amazing. So if you basically do them... Do Ice Shard while you're doing... Or right after you do Icicle Spear, you'll be doing a lot of damage. And funny thing is, Icicle Spear and Ice Shard are... It's, they're both physical moves. Meaning that you don't want to focus on special... Um... Items for Glaceon. You want to... You want to focus on physical items, at least for this set. I think the, I think it's, I think all Glee times move your physical though. And I'll say this too: always focus on leveling up before you fight the enemy. Like if you're max level, go for it. Okay, so pose, so I was not looking at the goring. I was paying attention to everything else, which is gonna be a common theme when I play this game because I forget that there's other objectives. Also, I am going to say this, too. If you're ever going to fight someone in this game, make sure you're taking an eye on your level and their level. I got him right. He got it in the goal zone. Because if you are... If you're if you're both using Glaceon with the exact same set and everything, and you are two levels lower than your opponent, you're going to lose. Unless they have a different... Unless everything... Something is different about their setup. Which you can't check set of mid-games. So it's hard to say. But... So far, it looks like we're doing pretty well. Level 12 already. And the funny thing is, in the recent patch, I don't know if they patched it since then, but they actually gave Glaceon a power-up increase. I thought Glaceon was pretty well-powered as, as it is. I'm going to use the thing here. My candlestick agreed with me that time, so I was able to actually use it in the direction I wanted. Yeah, they're getting their butts kicked. And I got a posing Pokemon two times. That should be pretty easy. Or, well, yeah, when you get a PO level max, it only lasts for so for an X amount of time. I'm not sure how much time that is, but it does only last for so long. This is the one thing you never want to happen. This happened to us last game was of getting uh, letting them into your goal zone. We're gonna score. So basically, to peel, all you do is click the left analog stick, and once the thing goes up, you get a little bit of extra points, and your peel, the peel level for your entire team will go up. See right here, this is a mistake. We are both higher level than him, and he's taking us on two-on-one. I have a defender with me. That is the stupidest thing you probably could do. Probably could do. Now, I'm going to say this right now. There's, I don't think they have a way on the situation. We do literally, two, like, one or two of us have to go AFK for them to win in this situation. I see you there. Yeah, my, now my analytics is not agreeing with me, so I think I just... Yeah, I, 
died here. I will say the real thing about Umbreon that I really like is you can trap your opponent in a, in a circle around around Umbreon itself. I think I'm, yep, I'm dead. All right, that basically puts out the rest of the match. But we won this. They're, they're, they'd have to do a lot of different things here. We scored another 100 right there. So I'll have to leave you on do it. And one thing I didn't realize you could do, and I, I, I probably should have realized, is you get to use the right analog stick while you're KO'd to... Yeah, they surrendered. So actually, they had 27 seconds left, but they surrendered on their own. But yeah, Glaceon is just ridiculous, and we definitely had the better strategy here. Whether it was... I don't know if you call that quote-unquote strategy or not. It might just be us just freaking pile-driving them into the damn dirt, but yeah. Okay, my capture card, I thought my capture card lost volume for a second. It just, it just had a point where I was like, okay, well, I guess, um, you know, give me sound for a sec there. That's fine. I will say, though, it's been a while since so I've had OBS freeze, so I guess that's a, that pro they probably fixed whatever that, whatever that was happening. Did I hit play again? I did. We're not doing that. We're going back to catch him. We're going to start one up. So was that, how many matches? Is that two, uh, two out of three so far that we've won? Yeah. So we're going to see if we make it three out of four. I guess while I'm waiting, I can always just talk about my second channel. So I have a second channel now called Phoenix Flare 93. That channel is relatively small. I have one subscriber, and that is actually my my uh, main channel description. And I basically put everything on there that I want to do that's basically not Pokemon. So I have a feeling if I start doing non-Pokemon stuff on this channel, it's gonna it's gonna start uh, the algorithm is gonna start screwing with me. So. This might actually be, um, it, it's looking like, yeah, this might be a, a, a CPU versus CPU match. It's hard to say. But usually if it takes that long, usually it's because people aren't on and they need, they need to fill the rest of the slots with CPUs. Which works for me, I mean, it means I can show off my Pokemon a bit easier. I'm trying to think of any other mod that I, I haven't used before. No. But, so let's, let's use Chandelure. So, a couple of new items as well. If I go to battle prep here, and you can see I have a new item called the Slick Spoon. The Slick Spoon makes damage dealt to opposing Pokemon special attack offense nor 20% of the opposing Pokemon special defense. It gives you an HP buff and it gives you a special attack buff, which is good. I gave I ended up giving him the Assault Vest, because it gives you more HP as well. And range attacker, speed, X speed, because um, Shannon Ward, one of. Shandor's main damaging move actually forces you to not be able to attack for like one to three seconds, which is a problem at some point. So we got a speedster, a defender, an attacker, and an, uh, two special attackers. They have a defender or support, two, three supports, and a defender. So if they all focus on Crustle, they might they might win this one. But this is all assuming that these aren't CPUs running them. I'll be able to tell right off the bat if they're CPUs or not. Okay, so one of them might be. Usually CPUs will always take a bit of time right before the game starts to, yeah, so Ember's a bit of a pain in the ass because my right analyst is not agreeing with me. Basically, your whole objective with him is to stay as far away from enemies as possible. That probably should be obvious considering uh, Litwick is a special, uh, or a special attacker, but it just seems like he doesn't have... Come on, analyst, work with me here. I'm going to get it, so he got it. All right, fine. We're going to choose Overheat. Overheat's the one move I was talking about. You can use it twice, but after you use it, you can't use your regular attack for a little while. I'm not going to lie. I know Overheat does a bunch of damage, but I think they should have given him a second move that actually deals damage. Because the other moves that I have just deal... Are, are basically, one seals the opponent's move set, and the other one kind of just... Um, kind of just... Uh, Deals dim depending on the Pokemon. It's, 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 the opponent is stupid enough to walk into whatever it's doing. So I'm gonna use Imprison. This this basically seals the opponent's move for a few seconds, which is useful. I don't know if it does any damage, but if it does, I'd be very surprised. So I'm gonna score around 30 points here, but no one's down here defending their zone. I'll grab all these points, all these ones. So now I'm going to go back and take a Retinoid again, because it's a level 10 Mon, meaning that I get a lot of, quite a bit of experience from it. So 
see if you're gonna see right after you use an overheat twice, you're gonna see this red circle that I have. When that red circle is out, it means I can't use my regular attacks. Score another point down here since there's no one down here defending their goal zone again. Pikachu gets enough points in there, he can knock that goal zone out right now. Okay, I think he got it. Yep. Oh, I got it. Cool. Let's deal with these guys then. Okay, cool. So while I have him here, you can see I have a timer next to my level 2, by the way. So once that timer runs out, I have to swap. I don't have a choice in the matter. I don't know if I'm gonna time to put the thing in there or not. No, because fucking got him. Freaking Lily Tuff got in my way. So I'm gonna use the X feed to get out of here. I need to get out. I don't need to be. I can't be within uh, range to be attacked. At least by physical users. That's why I gave the special vest too. That means if I'm fighting a distant fighter, if I'm using a fighting a distant one enemy. That means I can. Uh, no, you're not doing that. I'm going to tell him I need back because I really kind of do. I got a feeling they might be... They might be... Uh, Peter's up. They completely ignored me when they could have knocked me out. I don't know if we got that or not. They got it, yeah. So this is over. So funny thing about Chanda Wars Unite move is I can deal a bunch of damage to wherever the laser points to when I clap it twice. So, so everyone's a pass on that. I gotta heal up a little bit before I go down there and help you. All right, that should be fine. I got it, because my overheat hits. It isn't just one opponent, it hits all the opponents. Damn it. I didn't have time to do it because my analyst stick was pushing the other direction, so I couldn't uh, uh, push that pin in, in the correct way. All right, that's not too bad. I think we won that one, too. I'm not sure, though. We won probably by at least 500 if I had to take a gander. You know, I am way too good at compressing that shit. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to take a look at my battle dead real quick because I'd never really look for him. Yeah, my, my like that. Okay, so cool. Yeah, I was dealing. I got no recovery, but I was doing the most damage. All right, so we're going to get to the main menu, and we're going to pick up uh, all my extra rewards for the day as I was playing. First, we'll go to the event page. E-Festival Challenge, Stage 3. Whoops, wrong button. Twenty-five item enhancers. We got extra AOS coins for playing on a weekend. Four hundred points for doing that. All out battle. I got a battle point card. Go over to daily events. Go to score challenge. Whoops! Freaking analog stick. Come on, stop doing that. I got a, a double Aos card. 
And then I got 50 AOS coins, or 50 tickets, 100 AOS coins, and 5 item enhancers from the daily events. Next, we're going to check out the energy rewards. So my game doesn't freeze. I got a bronze Raichu coin. Change three more. A bronze centric coin. Coin, a bronze jinx coin, and a silver skip loom coin. That's not bad. Next, we're gonna check out the battle pass, which I don't have the the premium battle pass. So I'm only gonna get a couple of things. So I got ten item enhancers. All right, I think that's everything that I can really do. Let me just double check my stuff. Oh, I got an achievement unlocked. Wonder what that's for. Earn thirteen thousand five hundred or more points in a single season, two seasons total. Two hundred, uh, two hundred, uh tickets. So I'm going to let you guys see this real quick. Unclaimed rewards. Ooh. Did I get those already? Yeah, I did get them. We're going to see. I'm going to go through my penalty notifications real quick. You're going to see that I I report a lot of people for being AFK because I think it really does. Oh, cool. Is that 5 a.m. screen second? Nope, I already got it. All right, cool. So I think this is going to do it for the video. Thank you everyone for watching. This is the Pokemon Fan 1993 signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.